this came from the Pantages Theatre in Vancouver. Uh, there were two uh, theatres built in Vancouver, British Columbia by the Pantages family. Uh, they were famous vaudeville theatres. They've both been torn down a long time ago. Um, Stan Laurel uh, was one of the performers there and Charlie Chaplin was another performer there. This sound plate was a uh, sound effect used by the drummers. Turn this light off here so I can bring this out. Um, or the percussionists, or the individual in charge of all of the uh, theatrical sound effects. And uh, <laughs> the the I, I'm not sure if the theater was built in 1909, but I know that for the first uh, uh, two decades of the 1900s, the theater uh, uh, was in full production. It was very busy. It was beautiful. It's a total shame uh, to see it gone. And the sound plate was one of the um, the items that was that was used by the uh, the percussionist. And if anybody, you know, if you're old enough to have attended the ice capades, it was very similar, where the orchestra sat in a sound pit. And they created the, uh, the sounds that the, the clowns and the dancers and the skaters on the ice made. They, they did them acoustically up until, you know, the late 80s when digital sounds came into production. So this sound plate would have, rec rec uh, um, would have uh, recreated a church bell or a fire bell or a school bell in any theatrical event that took place at Pantages. Sometimes... What the percussionist would do was he was suspended on a spring like this and wind it up because they may have wanted a sound that oscillated. And we didn't have oscillators then. <laughs> oh, I, I feel so old. There you have it.